Hello guys, it's me, Delphine, and I am here to talk about Harbinger Celestia. Now, Harbinger Celestia is a new card added into, well, Boomsday, and Boomsday just came out yesterday. So, why is everybody saying Harbinger Celestia is a bad card? Well, let me read it to you. Stealth, after your opponent plays a minion, become a copy of it. Now, why is this bad? I'm not saying it's bad, I'm not saying it's good. Its ability is actually balanced and interesting, but it loses its stealth and its ability after it after it transforms. So, like when your um opponent plays like a Murloc or something, like a weak little Murloc, yeah, it transforms into it. It loses its stealth and its ability. It can no longer transform into or another minion that your opponent plays. It has good stats for a four cost. A 4, 5, 6 is pretty good, but really, its ability is actually, I can't lie, it's just a really, really, really good card art, but too bad, it's just too bad. So, anyway, these are three ways of improving this card, and I want to read this out to you. I'll explain it in more detail. Here's my first suggestion. While this is in your hand, whenever your opponent plays a minion, become a copy of it. It keeps its ability. Why is this good? It's like Forbidden's Floop. Forbidden's Floop is like it's just like this, this ability I um told, but it's not when you play a card, it's when your opponent plays a card. Forbidden's Floop keeps its ability after it transforms into another card. And also changes the stats and etc. as well. If this was the ability, it would be a very, very good tech card against Malagos, the Lich King, all those powerful cards that like big decks always run. Like Druid, they run so much crap. Like Malagos on all of this just junk that I see every single time when I play ranked or constructed. Why is this an improvement? Well, because of course, Harbinger Celestia, Harbinger Celestia, I see it has potential, but Blizzard thinks that, oh, if we make something like this, it will be too overpowered and will break the game and stuff. Okay, on to the next one, number two, Stealth. When your opponent plays a minion, become a copy of it. It keeps its ability and stealth. So, when it it's in the battlefield, it has stealth, right? It keeps its ability and stealth, like, after it transforms into, like, minion, yeah? Like, example, like, a, a murloc. <laughs> if it transforms into a murloc, yes, it'll keep its stealth and ability, and if your opponent plays another card, it transforms into that card. So basically, it's, like, infinite, until, like, it gets silenced or anything, or just anything like that. Yeah? And why, why is this good? Well, because... Your opponent, one, can take out stealth. Stealth is the most craziest keyword. It's just mental. You cannot it's like it's like you can you can target it with minions and you can't target your spells. It's completely like shielded. But like, you can taunt, of course. So anyway, that's another one. That's another good way of improving Harbinger Celestia. It's basically like the one we have right now. But it keeps its ability and stealth after it transforms. Because of course, if your opponent plays a minion, it loses its stealth and loses its ability. And the third one is one that I well created and maybe really busted. Who knows? Stealth. When your opponent plays a minion, gain a copy of it into your deck. It costs one. Or actually, in other words, just copy it into your deck and it costs one. Just to like sat. Just like look into that Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Why is this good? It's because it's a good 4, six, it's a good four cost, 5-6 on the board, and it can copy cards off your opponent when they play, play it, or actually play minions. So anyway, that's free of great, of good ways of improving Harbour to Celestia. I just hope that Blizzard will actually think about it, yeah, and improve it in the first week or so. Who knows if Harbinger Celestia is a good tech card against like all of those annoying cards that you see in ranked people play. Alright, Delphini, out.